camped yet? Riley, what's wrong? I'm too gross to go to camp or anywhere ever again! Well, that's a preview of the next 10 years. I'm anxiety. Where can I put myself? I'm empty. That's ennui. That's embarrassment. Uh, Riley, you aren't packed yet? Let the professional handle this. I'm too gross to go to camp or anywhere ever again! Well, we all knew this day would come. Remember, we agreed not to make a big deal about this. You are not gross, honey. You're just changing. But she really does stink. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Rogue emotions have taken over Riley's mind. She requires more sophisticated emotions than all of you. You just aren't what she needs anymore. How dare you, madam? Ah! Bye! On June 14th. Hop on! Ah! What? Experience it in IMAX. It's a brainstorm! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Or suppressed emotions! Oh, Four interesting facts about Inside Out 2. Number one, when Joy hands a blue binocular to Sadness, it's actually a cameo of Lenny the binoculars from Toy Story 1 and 2. Number two, Pouchy is a mix of backpack from Dora the Explorer and Toodles from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Number three, Lance Slashblade is a parody of Cloud Strife from the Final Fantasy video games. Number four, Bluffy, a 2D animated character from Riley's childhood, is a blend of the main characters from Nick Jr. Show. Dora the Explorer and Blue's Clues. Some of us have got our work cut out to build a reputation lingers in It's okay. We need this. Oh, here's one where she waved at a guy who was actually waving at a girl behind her. Oh, that was so bad. Here's when she forgot that girl's name. Oh, yeah, that was super awkward. What was her name? I don't know, Janet or something. Whatever, let's just get rid of it. We keep the best and toss the rest. Whew. Nice work, everyone. Mm. Um. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Ah! <laughs>
why Anyui felt unnecessary in Inside Out 2 and how it could have been improved. Inside Out 2 mainly focuses on anxiety taking over Riley's mind, with joy in the core emotions trying to regain control. Anyui, representing boredom, spends most of her time glued to her phone, often ignoring the chaos around her. This limited role made Anyui feel like an unnecessary addition as she didn't contribute much to the story. Interestingly, Anyui can control the headquarters console via an app on her phone, highlighting her potential importance. Many viewers felt Anyui could have been more integral to the plot. For example, if Anyui had sided with Joy and the others from the start to challenge anxiety, it would have allowed her character to stand out and provide more depth to the new emotions introduced in the sequel. A potential Inside Out 3 could redeem Anyui by giving her a more significant role, similar to how the latest movie expanded fear, anger, and disgust dynamics with Joy. Four surprising facts about Inside Out 2. Number 1. Nostalgia has made her first appearance. Not only she's the oldest among all the emotions, but turns out that she loves making Riley feel nostalgic all the time. Number 2. It turns out that Riley's dad just revealed his anxiety emotion for the first time in Inside Out 2. And of course, with his signature mustache. Number 3. In Riley's memory, Joy stumbled upon a floating broccoli that was drifting away. This is due to the fact that Riley used to hate broccoli when she was a baby. And number 4. It's important for parents to explain about puberty to their adolescent child. And this is why Pixar is showing similarities of care and concern from the mother of Inside Out and Turning Red. You're just changing. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. That worked. Well, what would you do if you're so smart? i tell you, but you're too dumb to understand. What? Of course your tiny brain is confused. Guess I'll just have to dumb it down to your level. Sorry I don't speak more on as well as you, but let me try. How Inside Out 2's post-credits set up Inside Out 3. Inside Out 2's post-credit scene shows Joy visiting deep, dark secret in the secret vault, teasing future storylines. In the movie, Joy and the other emotions get trapped with locked away memories like Lance Slashblade and Bluffy, where they encounter deep, dark secret. Slashblade helps them escape, but deep, dark secret stays behind. In the end credit scene, Joy returns to free deep, dark secret, who reveals Riley's deepest secret, burning a hole in a rug. Joy expected it to be something else, like Riley peeing in a pool. Embarrassed, Deep Dark Secret chooses to stay in the vault. This scene hints at more secrets in Riley's life that could be explored in Inside Out 3. These could range from peeing in the pool to significant revelations, such as Riley being gay, bisexual, or non-binary. This is a popular theory, and Inside Out 3 could explore her coming out story through the secret vault. Four surprising things about Inside Out 2. Number one, anxiety being a huge fan of caffeine is surprisingly accurate. This makes sense because feeling anxious can keep you up at night, like drinking too much coffee or tea. Number two, did you know that shame is a deleted emotion that almost make it in a sequel? She was supposed to be the main antagonist instead of anxiety. Number three, in Elemental, Joy's name became a reference for a candy flavor named Spark Joy. This hints that after Pixar's Elemental, their next movie will be Inside Out 2. And number 4, the reason why Sadness sleeps in her bathrobe is because she cries a lot during her sleep. It absorbs her tears so that her bed will not get flooded. Some of us
exactly the same person. <laughs> I barely touched it. <laughs> it's okay. We need this. You made the console orange. I I'm anxiety. I I'm one of Riley's new emotions. <laughs> How can I help? I can take oh. notes, get coffee, manage your calendar, walk your dog, carry your things, watch you sleep. And my job is to protect her from the scary stuff she can't see. Again, love the energy, but you're being silly. None of this will actually happen. Right, uh, whatever you say. You're the boss. <laughs> Time to sit. Disney and Pixar's critically acclaimed Inside Out 2 is breaking records across the world. Please, can somebody pinch me? Ow! Critics and audiences have fallen in love with Inside Out 2. And now it's the number one movie in the world and the biggest movie of the year. Whoa. Don't miss the movie event of the summer that can only be seen in theaters. An exclusive invitation! <laughs> We're going! Disney and Pixar's Inside Out 2. Rated PG, now playing only in theaters. that in Inside Out 2, Nostalgia wears rose-tinted glasses? It's such a genius detail because rose-tinted glasses mean seeing things better than they actually were, which is exactly what Nostalgia does. This phrase dates back to the 19th century when some people would tint their eyeglasses with a reddish-pink color, making the world look warmer and softer, like a filter. This clever detail in the movie perfectly captures how Nostalgia colors our memories, making us remember the past more idyllic than it truly was was. on eye contact or, uh, like, talking, but he's a really sweet guy. Welcome to headquarters, embarrassment. Oh, we're doing a fit? No. Oh, <gasps> nope, going high. Oh, you got a real sweaty palm there, buddy. <laughs> Did you know this crazy fact about Inside Out 2? When the first Inside Out was released, Disney had no plans for a sequel. The director even mentioned that he had no ideas for continuing Riley's story. However, as some original films didn't make much money, Pixar decided it was time to bring back old hits with sequels, leading to the announcements of Inside Out 2 and Zootopia 2. Interestingly, when they decided to revisit Riley's story, the technology used to create the emotions in the first film was considered obsolete and had been discarded. Because of this, each character had to be recreated from scratch, just redoing Joy with all her intricate particles, hair, eyes, and dress details took over a year. New animation, shading, and lighting tools had to be developed, which is why the film is taken longer than Disney initially expected. It's a huge effort to make this incredible film happen. Alright, here you go. Your new expanded console is up and running. Ooh. Oh, upgrade. Ooh. Hey. Oh, ho. whoops. Wait, did I just do that? Hey, guys, what's puberty? I don't know. It's probably not important. Every emotion is good for Riley. I'm anxiety. Where? Riley's no emotion. Four most puzzling things about Inside Out 2. Number one, did you realize that Anger can actually use his flame to burn the glass jar? The question is, why did none of them think about this idea? Number two, some people thought that Ennui was a male. They were like, huh? That's a woman? Or is it her huge hands that make her look like a dude? Number 3. Nostalgia is the only emotion with the least amount of screen time. The fact that she was heavily promoted in TV spots makes people think she'll be around mostly. And number 4. I was hoping that Riley would say her favorite band was Four Town since the movie had some turning rap references. But instead, Get Up and Glow Band was her favorite which was kinda confusing. <laughs>